If you're tired of boring AI tools and want to see something cool, this video is for you. I scoured the web and found a couple AIs that will make her jaw drop. Some are more useful, some less, but each one takes AI to the next level. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, uh, tell me, how often do you try to generate an image, struggle with prompting, just to get something that's totally different from your idea? It's so annoying when that happens, right? But don't you worry, because with Crea AI, we can say those struggles goodbye. Here's how it works. You open the website and click run under real time generation. Then the edit in window pops up. The left half of the screen is our drawing board and the right one AI generated version of our drawing. On the left side, there is a panel with options, text to image, image to image, screen to image and camera. The first two options are the most interesting ones. Image to image is the default option chosen. Below that, there is a panel that lets us choose how we draw, what shape we wanna use, whether we want to upload an image and what brush we wanna use. At the bottom of the page, there is a text input field where we can write our prompt. On an empty canvas, I'm gonna select a red paintbrush and adjust its size. Then I'm gonna draw a shape that resembles an apple and fill it with color. Then I'm gonna switch to green brush and add a leaf. And now you see that the image on the right doesn't look like an apple at all. That's because we didn't raise the default text prompt. So let's do that. All right, next to the input field, there are two buttons, random prompt and random seed. Random seed basically randomizes the image and in my case makes our apple look like crystal. To uh, improve the results, I'm gonna type in the correct prompt, apple. On the right side of the input field, there is an almost invisible slider for adjusting the strength of AI. The higher the strength, the more creative the AI will be. On the right side of the screen, there is a list of styles such as cinematic, illustration, a bloom and product. Let's clean the drawing board. Then I'm going to choose a pink brush and draw a rough shape of a bicycle. With a complete shape, we can see that even without a prompt, AI knows that it should be a bicycle. But as as you can see, the wheels are quite crooked and not circular at all. To make the image better, I'm going to type in the prompt pink bicycle. Now let's just go over the different styles of this image. Which one do you like more? I, for example, like this product the most. So I'm going to click on the quick enhance button, which will increase the clarity and resolution of the image. It's very fun to play with this image to image mode, but Crea AI also can generate images from text descriptions. For example, let's ask it to draw a French tower in the desert surrounded by sand dunes. And look at these results. I wish I could say that these images are great, but the resolution is a bit too low. This feature still needs a lot of fine tuning and adjustment, not gonna lie. But all in all, Crea is a fantastic AI that you should definitely try. It's great for basically everyone from designers to artists. Just think how easy it is now to generate precise images. No need for advanced prompting techniques or knowledge of the algorithms. All you need is to draw something and then vaguely describe it. And that's all. See how simple that was? There is one thing that is even simpler, editing your videos with Wondershare Filmora, the sponsor of this video. And it just got an update to version 13.1, bringing seriously upgraded AI music generator. Now you pick the mood, theme, genre, duration, and number of tracks, and you're good to go. Devs have thrown in new themes like vlogs, travel, gaming, cinematic, and more, plus fresh genres like pop, beats, funk, and others. You can even choose the tempo, low, normal or high. With all these options, you can create endless music tracks for your videos. And here's the kicker. They're all good to use commercially. No worries, right? Once the tracks are ready, just drag and drop them on your timeline. It's a breeze, especially for beginners. Way easier and faster than hunting for free music online. And you can actually use this music in your videos. All generated tracks now are commercially available. So give it a shot. I will leave a link in the description for you. Download Filmora for free and get royalty-free music tailored 
to your liking. Okay, Kriya undoubtedly is one of the coolest AIs that I've seen, but the next one is just as good. We've generated images many times before, but we've never truly generated videos. And believe me, you might want to pay more attention to this one. So the next AI is called Pika AI. And just take a look at how it works. When we open the main page, we can instantly see examples of videos generated by other people. Now, don't worry, we're going to come back to them a bit later. At the bottom of the page, there is a familiar input field where we need to describe our story. Below that, there are four important buttons. The first one is uploading images or videos for AI to work with. This would be super useful for someone trying to stylize the video or replicate it. The next button allows changing certain parameters of the video, such as aspect ratio and the number of frames per second. The highest number is 24 and the lowest is 8. The next button gives full control over the camera, such as adjusting panning, tilting, rotation and zoom. I can even set the strength of motion from 0 to 4. The default number is 1 but for our needs, I'm gonna set it to. The last button has a field for the negative prompt for setting a specific seed and for adjusting the consistency with the text, AKA accuracy. My prompt will be Japanese anime girls eating sushi on top of Mount Fuji at sunset. This shouldn't be difficult, right? And I'll also set the motion and zoom in effect just to make it a bit more interesting. And uh, now let's uh, check out what other people have generated while our video is processing. And just look at these videos. They're super consistent, which is not something you would expect from AI. But here, the developers somehow managed to train their model in such a way that the images, despite looking AI generated, do have enough consistency in them to be good enough. Now let's check out our video. It's only two seconds, but the quality and consistency Consistency is absolutely incredible. The style stays the same throughout the video and all the objects in it are in their places the whole time. No one jumps around or changes the position. Everything is super stable and consistent. But that's mainly because the anime style is much easier for AI to replicate. So let's ask for something more realistic yet surreal. Dogs riding motorcycles in the desert. I'm also gonna adjust the consistency and choose the camera motion. And the results of this generation, despite staying consistent, are quite weird. The background changes a lot and the overall video doesn't really look like what I've asked for. But that's the fun of it. AI gets better every day and maybe by the end of this year, this tool will be so good that it will kill stock video platforms. And how about changing the angle a little bit? Let's get less serious for a few minutes and have some fun. Who's your favorite movie villain? Darth Vader? Joker, mine for sure is Dr. Evil. No jokes. Now tell me, won't it be fun to become your favorite villain even for a couple of seconds? Yeah, that's what I thought. And I have something that could make this happen. Unboring by Reface. Using this AI is super easy. This is basically a two-step process. First, I upload a photo or a video that I want my face to be glued on. So let's upload the photo of Dr. Evil here. Next, I need to upload my own face. And for this step, it's better to use the image with consistent background and neutral face expression. The thing about this AI is that it can change facial expressions. So if a person in your original photo is smiling and you're not smiling, the final image will have you smiling. Just something to keep in mind. After both files are uploaded, I will hit the big yellow button, swap faces, wait a few seconds and enjoy the results. I must say the AI managed to not only correctly detect the face and its orientation, but it has also adjusted the expression to better match the original image. Now let's try the same thing with video. I'm going to upload the video, add my face and click the button. After a few seconds, check out what we've got. Now that's what I call the AI power. Even the grain and artifacts of the original video are present. Show this video to someone from the 80s and they won't suspect a thing. But this is still not the best part about unboring. Let's upload a different image, this Shrek poster, and ask AI to change the face to mine. Here, as you can see, the limitations step into play and the generated face looks really creepy. But right now it doesn't matter because we're gonna animate it and bring it to life. To do this, click here on the bottom left corner, then on the panel on the right you can choose how you want the face to move. There are quite a few options to choose from, but unfortunately we cannot sample our own movement. Look at these results. This is not perfect in any way, but more than enough to have some fun in social media. What do you think? You know, replacing faces is cool and all, but I think we must look at something that many more people are gonna use. 
proper image upscaler. And there is no better candidate for being called crazy than Magnific AI. If you are new to the world of AI, Magnific has been making waves in the community. And let me tell you, the results it gives are crazy. First, it can hallucinate and reimagine details in low res images. You can guide the AI using your own prompts and parameters, allowing you to breathe life into images that seem beyond salvation. Magnific AI's applications extend beyond simple image enhancement. It has found its way into the world of gaming, where developers are using it to upscale AI generated backgrounds and textures. Imagine playing a game, a remastered version of your favorite game with enhanced textures and details all thanks to Magnific AI. It can even work with UV maps, making texture enhancement a piece of cake and that's still not everything. It's also super easy to use. Simply upload your image and choose the scale factor. You can optimize the image for various categories like standard, portraits, art, video game assets and more. The prompt field allows you to guide the model and help it produce better results, yet my testing didn't show any notable difference, so maybe this feature is still under development. Then you can fine tune your results with sliders for creativity, HDR and resemblance. I recommend ignoring the HDR sliders since it makes the images look unrealistic. The higher the resemblance, the closer the results will be to the original image. And creativity, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. The higher the creativity, the crazier the results. You can even choose the engine that's going to be used like Automatic, Sparkle, Lucio, and Sharpie, though the difference between them isn't huge. The quality of the results largely depends on your settings. Magnific AI shines when images contain both foreground and background elements. However, it might struggle with close-up shots, slightly altering people's faces, and still the results are really consistent. With Magnific, you can easily restore old family photos, improve AI-generated images to the point of photorealism, or just have fun and upscale old games. This is truly the craziest upscaler ever. Now it seems like we're going all creative today, so it seems fitting to take a look at the next big thing in video production. Hey Jen, this AI tool is pretty cool, I gotta say. It can whip up a talking head video for you in no time. Check out the bunch of pre-made talking heads it's got in store for you, dozens of them all ready to shoot a video just for you. But here's the kicker, none of them look like yours truly. So what's the deal, right? Well, here's the magic trick. With a simple click of a mouse, you can upload your own photo and HeyGen will extract the face from that pic and animate it. So let's create my digital double. Step one, upload a photo. Step two, edit. Once the editing page opens, you are the boss. You can move the face around, change the size and pretty much do whatever you want. First, I'm gonna add a text that my digital self is gonna say. Next up, let's change the voice. There are many voices to choose from, but this one to me seems the most fitting. Boom! We're getting there! Oh, and here's a nifty feature. GPT script writing. Hit that button and the AI will rewrite your ideas into a longer monologue. But if you're feeling creative, you can stick to your own words. I'm gonna do just that. Now you choose the expression style for the AI face and its talking style. Don't go too crazy, we wanna stay realistic here. As for the voice, you can either stick with an AI generated one, like I've shown you before, or upload your own voiceover. This will make the videos look even better. To take it up a notch, I will add a background video and click submit. It takes a minute or two to to generate and render everything, but once it's done, the results are pretty great. Oh, take a look. The animation may seem a bit stiff, but that's because of the large size of my face in the frame. If I had made it smaller, the quality would have been even better and the AI's influence would have been less obvious. I believe this tool is perfect for anyone looking to create content without showing their face on YouTube. Making videos this way is incredibly easy, the voice sounds natural and there is no reason why you shouldn't give it a try. And back to creating stuff, videos specifically. You know those short snippets from popular podcasts that get millions of views? Well, normally they would take a lot of time 
time to create. But with Opus Clip, it's as simple as clicking a button. First, you hit up YouTube to find a suitable video. Once you've got that gem, copy its link and now open up Opus Clip and paste that YouTube link right in. And now the fun part begins. You will get to set a few things. One, specify how long you want your video to be. Two, pick the topics you want your video to focus on from the original source. Three, hit the generation button. Yup, it's that easy. Now here is where the magic happens. Opus Clips AI gets to work. It watches the video, dissects it into pieces, and selects out the bits we've chosen before. Before you know it, you've got yourself a fresh new video. Each video will get a special virality score, which shows the prediction of how well the clip is gonna perform, the chance of it getting viral, if you will. The resultant video looks pretty slick, well edited, complete with subtitles, and the cuts are spot on. But wait, there's one more. You can tweak the captions in case AI mishears something. You can play around with how many lines appear per page, adjust their placement on the screen, and even slap on the logo. I'll be honest, my result isn't flawless, but that's on me. I picked the time frame kind of randomly. With a bit more effort, it would have been much better. I know a bunch of folks out there who would have filled their YouTube channels with these snappy videos, and they are earning a pretty penny now. So why not give Opus Clip a whirl? I told you, your mind would be blown. These AIs are so cool and that's just the beginning. There are many more cool and experimental AI tools and services that you have never heard of. So if you want another part of the series, hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.